But a hapachol means when you think all is lost, anything can happen. Anything can change, and that's how a yid has to believe it. I want to show you, I want to tell you a story that happened just less than a year ago. What does it mean when you think it's impossible? How can this become good? It's impossible. And then all of a sudden, things change. It's incredible. And this story happened on a flight to Eretz Yisrael. And the woman herself told it to me. What happened was that this lady was going from Lakewood with her parents. She had a three-year-old child and now a two-month-old child. And they're going on air to Eretz Yisrael for a chasen of a family. And they're on the flight. They're over the Atlantic already. It's deep into the flight. And her baby, her two-month-old baby, is crying. She needs a diaper change. She opens up the diaper, and she screams. The mother screams. Now, it's a very rare thing that happened to this child. And the medical terminology is called a rectal prolapse that part of the rectal wall comes out of the child's body, and it's frightening. Then She wasn't expecting that. She's a mother. You know, she has an older child. She never saw anything like that. She called her mother. Her mother started screaming because her mother didn't know what to do, and they called the stewardess. The stewardess ran up to the pilot, and the pilot said, is there a doctor on board? David Shigaholfen, there was a woman doctor from Hadassah. She came over, and she calmed them down, and she told the pilot, we have to get to a hospital right away. You've got to land this plane as soon as you can. And he said, don't worry, we'll try to save this child and we'll get to Shannon Airport. Now, Shannon is in Ireland. Of course, they had to dump fuel because they can't land with a full um, tank of, of, of fuel the way they had it going to Eretz Israel. And the pilot starts dumping fuel and they're on their way to go to Shannon. Now, throughout the night, the doctor was working on this child. And eventually she was able to put back what had come out of the body. And she goes to the stewardess and she says, you could tell the pilot that the baby is okay. We can make it to Eretz Yisrael. So the pilot says, we can't now because I've dumped too much fuel. I can't make it to Eretz Yisrael. We've got to land in Shannon. Now, this is not to be believed. I heard it from the people themselves. It's not like I heard it from somebody else. As they're going into the descent... And there's an ambulance waiting in Shannon because they didn't radio ahead that the ambulance shouldn't be there. A guy on the plane has a heart attack. And they call this same nurse. And she runs over to the person and she sees that he's struggling for life. And she runs to the pilot and she says to the pilot, you didn't cancel that ambulance, did you? He said, no. He says, you got to get this guy. That ambulance that was prepared for that little girl saved the life of this fellow who had the heart attack as they were landing in Shannon. And Tuesday, I mean, the family told me that they sent Shabbos in London, but they told me it's so amazing, Mikam Yisrael. The mother told me that while everybody on the plane thought that it was a sakona, all everybody was saying till him for the child. One guy gave him a $100 bill, the father, and he said, you might need this in, in Ireland. Another guy gave him the name of the Chabad Shliach in Dublin. He said, I know him, he'll take care of you. It's only three hours from Shannon. He said the whole, like the Rav was saying before, the whole plane was like a bunch of achtos together. And then, of course, the baby was okay. It was, she was hospitalized, but they were able to go to London for Shabbos. And Tuesday, the nurse called this family in Lakewood. I mean, they were in Eretz Yisrael at the time. She said, I want you to know that your daughter saved the life of this guy. If not for the ambulance being there, it would have been hopeless. That's been a hapachu. Benahapachu means that we have to know an Ador, we have to remember, no matter how serious and how dire a situation is, a Yid can never give up. Because that's the essence. That's why we say it in, in the Tefillah of Asheheni. That's why you have it twice in the Psukim of the Megillus Esther itself.